Hello, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Abigail Cloutier. The law firm of Beatrice Comp is now representing some of the people affected by the explosion who may have had personal injury or property damage claims. They have yet to file lawsuits, but attorney Brian Kopp, who has represented clients involved in explosions, today talked with me about how the process may unfold. Legal ramifications. It's our top story tonight at 10. We've started in anticipation of our involvement in this case, our investigation into the matter. But Brian Kopp of the law firm Beatrice Kopp could not say when his firm would file a lawsuit. It's too early to determine what the nature of this lawsuit would look like. Kopp says he's been involved in five to seven major explosion cases, including the 2012 explosion that killed two workers at the Struthers Wastewater Treatment Plant. They're usually very complicated because there's not only the construction component to it, the gas company component, the premise liability component, Maybe because of this scenario, the engineering process that went on. These are very complicated, complex cases. Cop says there will be a need for what he called reverse engineering. There's usually a mistake made days, weeks, months before the explosion actually occurs. Cop and his law firm would not be involved in any criminal charges should they be filed, but he says criminal charges are possible. In many cases, a certain degree of recklessness or negligence is what the realm I usually live in. Uh, those can lead to criminal charges because you do have a death, you have a catastrophic injury, you have incredible damage to property here. Cop also said the entire case could change depending on the future status of the realty building. Can you imagine the, the catastrophe of dollars and cents beyond the loss of life and limb that's going to come about if that building has to come down? The state fire marshal, NTSB, and OSHA are all investigating what happened. Brian Kopp says if they end up filing a lawsuit, Beatrice Kopp will be hiring its own expert to do an investigation as well. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.